up guys? I got some crickets here for the chameleons, for the big adults. Gonna give them some. And then, got a little surprise. One of my red foot females, I think just laid a clutch. Gonna go dig those up. And I know these guys are probably hungry. I can get the, if I can get the tape off the box. One of the females back there is eating a couple. some National Geographic footage for you there. Let's close that up, let them eat. Not sure where she went, but I need to clean that water out. But so she was digging right back there in that corner, then she stopped. There she is right there. She was digging there in the corner. Then she dug over here. And then this is the last spot I saw her digging. So she more than likely laid them over here. This is the last time she laid right over here as well. So let's check it out. She definitely was digging here. It's nice and easy to unearth. All right. And there's an egg right there. Now I want to be careful, but I know they were just laid not long ago, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if I turn one, but I try not to. There's three. That was an easy one to dig up. Usually it takes me a lot longer. All right, so three eggs, four eggs, I'm sorry. Just feeling around, making sure that's it. Feels like that's it. Alright, cool. Four red foot eggs. Gonna gently grab them here. Just gonna put them down out here. Don't want them to get stomped on by the red foot, so I'm gonna get a little container to put them in. Freshly picked bananas here. There we go. 
All right, so I got my four red foot eggs. There might be a little bit of an echo here. I'm in the bathroom, but I got my four red foot eggs. I'm gonna rinse them off, let the water warm up, just lukewarm. I don't like to do it cold or hot, just kind of right in the middle. <clears throat> and I just take the eggs, give them a good rinse. Kind of takes a little longer because I'm using one hand. Don't need to get too crazy with rinsing them. I just try to get most of the dirt off. And I got my vermiculite here. Some people use perlite, some use hatchrite, some use vermiculite. I, I've just always used vermiculite. There could be better options out there. I've just, I've always had good luck with vermiculite. So I just stick with that. If it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, why change it up? turning the egg sideways, but I'm being careful not to rotate it. Like I said, you have about a 48 hour window from when they're laid and I'm in that window, but I just rather not risk it. So I'll usually let them dry for about 10 minutes and then I'll write the red foot and the date on them. All right, so now that they're dry, I'm gonna write, I usually, for red foot, I obviously write RF. And today's date is 10-6. Now these are gonna be incubated at 88 degrees for female. only had this female that laid these eggs for about four months and she's already laid two clutches of eggs so super happy about that all right now they go in the incubator all right so the eggs are all labeled cleaned they're on their vermiculite they're going in the incubator so they'll incubate for about 90 to 120 days. That's the typical range for red foot incubation. If you're interested, I have red foot hatchlings available now as well as other species. Feel free to private message me or email me through my website at southernreptiles.net. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good night and thanks for watching.